What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another build guide. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this UNSC frigate-inspired ship and where to get all the unique parts. This one has three turrets on each side, over 3,000 cargo space, and a working Mac cannon. We'll be starting at an outpost landing pad with Chip Builder. Stats are on the left side of the screen. Let's get started. All right, once you get to your landing pad, interact with the build console and modify a ship. Lead it to start fresh. Grab a 120LD landing bay. And then put an Accu Lander 11 landing gear behind that. Then grab a 2x1 and a 1x1. One one. I would put my workshop here at the bottom. Put the 1x1 one one on top of the 2x1. And two by one on top of that, followed by two more two by ones like this. Then you can place a one by one on top of that. Go ahead and grab a grab drive and place it down bottom right here. And an SF 40 sheared flow reactor behind that. Then you can get a 500T HE3 tank, place in here, just like this. Then duplicate it, hit your accept button, then hit select all, edit, accept. And you should have two fuel tanks connected right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my shield and place it up top. Followed by my cockpit. In order to get this one to place, we'll have to put it above the one by one and duplicate it, accept, duplicate, accept, then delete these two, then hit edit, accept, and it should snap there on its own without you having to move it. Next, we're going to get some Deimos holes and Deimos belly 4 from Structural. Let's grab a Deimos belly 4 as well as Deimos hole. Place your belly 4 at the front of the first 2x1. Then get 4 of the holes. Place them going out. Then you can duplicate that place up here, delete one of them and replace it with a Stroud Cap C aft. Place that there, then connect these, duplicate this, put one on top, one beside that. Now hovering over this one, you want to hit duplicate, accept, duplicate, accept delete the extras then grab another Deimos belly 4 and place it up here you'll have to get a valid placement in the area then pick it back up set it down once it snaps the place flip flip again and then hit the cancel button then we're going to get three more of these place one starting right here and duplicate that for the other side. Then you can get another one to go here. As well as below it. Then we want one more right here as well. And we want a one by one there. But for the moment, I'm going to pull these out of the way and get another Deimos hull. Let's slide this 2 by one out of the way temporarily. Place the hull there. Now, duplicate, accept. Duplicate, accept. 
duplicate except and then we've got to do that one more time duplicate except now delete the extras in the area that's one two and then there should be two more up here now you want to select all then edit then accept then you can place your two by one back there If it's not exactly lined up, as you can see, you may need to connect it to something and then select all and accept to get it to line up. Then we're going to do the same thing to hide the grab drive and reactor by removing this two by one, getting another demos hole placed on top of the grab drive, duplicate, accept, duplicate, accept, duplicate, accept, delete that one then this one and we can also delete that select all edit accept and we can duplicate this duplicate again accept take this and put it on top of the reactor duplicate accept and highlight this one duplicate Except, delete that out of the way, and we can grab our two by one and place it back there. And grab your one by one and your hole, place there. Then we're gonna get a port docker. Place it there, then get some Deimos holes, place one under it, one above it, and then a set in front of it. Get these and duplicate for the other side. Fill in the gap. Go into structural. We're gonna get some Deimos braking engines and use for our nose caps. Go into cargo. We'll be using two Galleon S203 cargo holds. Place the first one here and another one on the other side. Then get two 10ST hauler shielded cargo holds to place under that. Then go get some equipment plate. We're gonna need seven of them this time. Three on each side. And then one in the back of the middle. Now we need our engines. Just for the time being, I'll be using the supernovas here at our outpost. Place one on the bottom and then hit duplicate, accept. Same thing on this side, one on the bottom, duplicate, accept. Go back into structural and get some demo spines, as well as skegs. We'll get a spine A placed here. And 
Let's find D to go behind that. Put those on the other side as well. Then you can get a Deimos Skeg A. As well as the Skeg B. And put those on the other side as well. Go ahead and go into weapons and get some turrets. TBO 300 auto alphas. Make sure you assign your weapon. Grab another Deimos Belly and place it at the rear. Now you're going to hover over your landing gear. The only error you should have is to few landing gears. So hover over it. Duplicate. Accept. Then select all. Edit. Accept. We're going to do that until the error goes away. So duplicate, accept, select all, edit, accept, duplicate, accept, select all, edit, accept, duplicate, accept. And you see, once you get enough landing gear shoved in there, it swaps to warnings. Now, the only warnings we should have is two weapon assignments missing. So I'm going to leave the ship builder. Make it my home ship. And then I'm going to take that over to the Velo system which is located under Narion. And then here at Polvo Hopetown, we'll get a couple unique parts. Once you get here outside of Hope Tech, talk to the ship service tech, modify a ship. We came here for engines and weapons, so I'm gonna delete the engines in the back. And I'll be using the SAL 6830s. In order to unlock these, you have to complete the mission All That Money Can Buy. And I've been told that you have to do it as a good guy. So don't kill anyone. If you don't have these engines, though, you can use the 6330s instead. You just may have to use an extra set in order to achieve 100 mobility. So you're going to place your first engine on the bottom. Then duplicate, accept. Do the same thing on the other side. Duplicate, accept. Now we're going to go into our weapons. And get some Stroud C-Class weapons. Let's get the Obliterator Alpha Current. Put three of those on. Then grab our equipment plate for the Mac Cannon and pull it out. Then get the Obliterator Alpha Beam. Place one on the equipment plate. Then duplicate, accept. And if you select all and it highlights everything, that means you've done it right. So then deselect it and duplicate the original one again. Then hit accept. You should be able to select all and place that inside of the Mac Cannon again. Now our only error is unassigned weapons, so let's assign the Alpha Beam to our primary weapon. That way we can fire it. 
and the turret to the other two. Now we should be able to leave this ship builder. If you want, you could actually stop the build here. The Stroud cockpit is a little closer to the original design. However, I prefer the Deimos one, so that's where we're headed now. So I'm going to Deimos here by Mars to get my cockpit. If you want to reduce the number of landing gear that you have shoved in the bottom of your ship, you can come over here to Titan. And here they have NG-20 landing gear. And if you swap it to the wide variant, you can get away with using four landing gear instead of eight. The only difference is you'll probably want to use a Deimos hull to hide those NG landing gear because they don't quite match the aesthetic of the rest of the ship. But you can just hide them the same way that we hid the fuel tank, grab drive, and reactor earlier. All right, so now I'm here at Deimos. We can see what it looks like while we're docked at a station. It's got a nice, normal orientation. It's not flipped up into the sky or anything weird like that. Deimos is here to turn you. Excellent. I'm going to swap this Stroud cockpit out for one of the Deimos ones. Just for personal preference, I prefer the view that these offer. Also, if you decide that you want more HABs in your ship, you don't have to limit yourself to the layout that I've shown. You can replace these Deimos hulls with HAB units themselves. It will slightly change the aesthetic of the ship, but you can maintain the overall shape and still fit two 2x1s two in both the top and bottom here, as well as another two by one and a one by one to connect them on the sides. And if you leave your braking engine, it doesn't change the look of the ship very much. But I'm going to exit the ship builder. And then I'm gonna swap it over to the one that I've already built to show you what I've done with the customized apps inside. When you get serious about your space flight. So the way I've got mine set up, we've got a one by one connected to our doctor here. We go through the door into our armory. This ladder leads up into the cockpit as well as the control station here. Our cockpit has a nice top view of the entire ship. Once you swap it out for the Deimos one, if you choose to do so. There's no interior clipping either. Not this time around anyways. If we go through our armory here, I believe I currently have an all-in-one berth connected to it, but I do plan on changing this, actually. We've got this one-by-one one here that connects our workshop and landing bay to the rest of the ship. And real quick before I go, I can't tell you it has a working Mac cannon without showing you what it looks like whenever you fire it. Since we've got it to our alpha beams, it's a consistent fire rate depending on how much power you apply. All right. 
right, I do believe that should cover assembly on this one. I hope this video helped some of y'all out. If it did, please remember to hit those like and sub buttons down below. And I look forward to seeing y'all here in another one. Later.